Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk all about playroom organization. I have a 19 year old and a six year old, so I have had quite the experience with bins and containers. I, am, I have tried them all and I know which ones will last and which ones are not gonna last that long. And every bin is not created equally. Some bins are better for some items and not better for others. But we're gonna go through all of the bins. I will actually give you guys a tour of our playroom organization. So if you guys are in the need to spruce up your playroom or to get it a little bit more organized, this is the video for you. Let's start out, first of all, with those organic material bins. The first one is this wicker bin. We have used these several times in different place spaces depending on our house that we have lived in and the space that we're provided for my kids toys. Wicker bins, while they are great, aesthetically pleasing to look at, if it is a high traffic area, an area where a kid's going to be like pulling it out, dragging it around and all of that stuff, I would skip the wicker bin. We do have wicker bins in our play area, but they are in areas where my daughter just has to dig through them. They're not gonna be pulled out, dragged around, because guess what, this handle here, while it's pretty to look at, it's gonna wear. The bottoms, while you're dragging them in and out, they're gonna have wear and tear to them. And kids are not the most gentle beings when it comes to pulling out toys, cleaning up, all of that stuff. So wicker bins, yes, use them in their play your playroom. They're great, they're fantastic, but use them in areas that are not gonna be a high traffic area. Next up, oh, Oh, to an extent, uh, playroom that looks really cute. It is the acrylic bins. I love these. They're durable. Not if little Johnny is going to stand on the top, but for the most part, they are durable. These ones are actually from Walmart. They were really affordable. That thick plastic, all acrylic bins are not created equal, but you can find some good, durable, affordable ones at places like Walmart, maybe Target, and Amazon does have some listings for these as well. This is from the Home Edit brand. I have had, had great luck with their products. We use them throughout our home. I feel like they are a good quality. Another acrylic item, we actually use this one in our kitchen. That's why it's labeled Sweets. We have had this forever. OX Oh, brand is very good. This one, how cute would this be with like little cars or something tiny in it? Um, this would be great. Even if you just leave the tops off and you have these in your play playroom, aesthetically pleasing and also really functional. And this is that thick plastic. To be honest, guys, we probably have this one for over 10 years and it is still going strong and we use it in our kitchen all the time. Acrylic bin and you can't go wrong is with Lazy Susans. I love me a little Lazy Susan. This one we use in the kitchen, but how fun would these be with little mini Legos? They could section them off by color and organize them and it spins around. So your little one will have easy access to all of their items. You can label them or not label them because you can see inside, but I love me some acrylic. Okay, let's talk about metals. Most people don't think about adding metal in their playroom or organizing with metal bins, but they are great. The only con with a metal bin, if this is placed on wood or something like that, being pulled in and out, it's gonna scratch it up over time. So I would line those cabinets with a really pretty wallpaper or something of that sort, um, just so you don't have wear and tear on your actual wood shelf or whatever it's on. But these are great, you can see through them so your little one can see everything that they have. Of course, you wouldn't put small items in here because they would fall out. They would fall out through the holes but these are great, they're durable, they're gonna stand the test of time, and they can be in high traffic areas. You would just use them for stuffed animals or some of those bigger toys. 
Let's talk about fabric now. I do love me a fabric container, and a lot of people do have these in their playroom, but guess what, guys? They're not durable. I, like I said, my oldest is 19 years old, so these are great for those areas that are not high traffic. So if you're having a little one pulling things in and out, you know, those little cube shelves, I would use something like a metal or something like an acrylic. I would kind of stay away from the fabric. Yes, they are really affordable, but buy cheap, buy twice. Have you heard of that saying? That's for this one. If you're gonna buy, yes, they're probably the most affordable of all the bins, minus Dollar Tree, that I have here, but you're gonna be spending more money in the long run. These are great in our home. We actually use these inside of our master closet for things like gloves and hats and stuff like that. Things that we're not pulling in and out, seasonal things that we switch out. These are fantastic for that. So yes, these have a place in our home, but maybe in those areas that are not so high traffic, plastic bins have last us the longest. So these are ones actually from Dollar Tree. So even though you may be, to organize a space, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to be selective with the materials that you choose. If you get a wicker bin from the Dollar Tree, it's probably not gonna last that long. Even if you got that same wicker bin from Amazon, it's probably not gonna last that long just because how the, they are. They wear and tear over time. But if you get you a plastic bin from the Dollar Tree, we actually have these in our play area. This one has lasted, I wanna say we've probably had this for like seven years. It's got a little mark on it, but seven years. This one we keep in our kitchen, but when I give you the playroom tour, you'll see we use them in there as well. I like these for kids' spaces because you can wipe them out, also for kitchens as well, and keep them clean really easily. This is a big old bin. Just throw a little label on it, or not, depending what you wanna do, and they are good to go. Plastic isn't as thick as maybe something that you're gonna pick up as at Target, but for a dollar now, I think it's a dollar twenty-five. You can't go wrong. And our variation for those Dollar Tree bins are these like locker bins. This one, same thing. We've had it for the same amount of time as we've had those, and they just hold up. In our old house, we use these and some parts of our play area. Um, but I have a lot of them in our kitchen pantry now, and they just work really well there. So for a dollar twenty-five, I think that's the going rate for the Dollar Tree these days. You can't go wrong, and you can get really organized. Love these because you can wipe and clean them out. They come in a variation of a different colorways, and it's going to stand the test of time with the kids pulling these in and out. If little Johnny is standing on the top, they probably won't stand the test of time, but that's a whole nother story. And then also these plastic bins. I love these from Target. They're not that much money, and you can see we already have toys in there. These are from our actual playroom, and they have held up. I love them for the same reason as the white ones. You can clean them out really easily. Easy peasy. And they are going to stand up to kids. They're about di thick plastic and kids can pull them in and out of shelves and they're going to stand up. We have these on painted wood shelves and they don't scratch them and they do great. And you're going to see in our playroom, we have them in different sizes, different variations, and they just work really well for our family. Here is another variation. You see it's filled up with toys that we have in our playroom. I don't have these labeled. In our old house, we did have them labeled. Um, but they just work really well for, for us. My daughter dumps out the toys, she dumps them back in, and they are, they can't hold up. And I got mine from Target, all of them, but they sell them a ton of places now. I know that Hobby Lobby has a variation, which are always between 40, 50, 60% off. I've seen them at like Michael's, and I know Amazon has some and I've seen them at different places. So you're gonna find these at various price points. And so guys, we have this closet in our play area, and I'll show you guys what's inside. Sorry, I'm doing laundry, so you may hear some noises in the back. So these are those Dollar Tree white bins that we have on this shelf. The rest is kind of like, um, 
bathroom items but the bottom shelves are all for playroom storage we have those dollar store bins are the white ones these are the target bins like i said we've had the dollar store ones and the target ones forever and ever those are great um, my daughter is six now but she's had them since she was little and they've just held up um, and then down here we do have wicker bins eight because she doesn't have to like pull them out and do all that so they have actually held up pretty good and we have larger items in there more of the target bins here and then another wicker basket that contains some books but like i said that is held up because she doesn't have to lug it around that back so you can see all of it but yeah that's how we organize everything let me show you some other bins that we have so behind the playroom sofa we have these fabric bins these are great only because she doesn't have to like pull them in and out they stay here it's just a bin she digs into this one is filled up with games this one with barbie stuff we have a lot of barbie like the barbie car the bigger items but these have held up only because you don't need to move these around these just kind of stay here she's not pulling on the handles more wicker bins this one has with books in it this one is held up great it's actually one of those tabasco bins i get my wicker bins from different places home goods thrift stores are great spots to get wicker bins in we have another one here housing some more books we have a lot of books and then on this wood shelf here i don't know how clean this is <laughs> we have some stuff so she has these smaller ones and that holds like all of her crayons so this one is markers and pens crayons and then she has another one back here for um like stamps and then up here we have oops papers and that kind of stuff in the, another one of those target bins and then this one is more paper items so these just work really good i like them for art supplies because you can just clean them out guys little tins and they work good for housing these are different these are markers like thicker markers shorter ones these are those markers that are um, only work on that special paper i forgot what you call those and then we have like scissors and that kind of stuff so and that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Just remember, bins are great. Containers are great. They're just not all created equally and they all have a place in our home. Um, I have probably every type of container in my home, but it all depends where you use it and those high traffic areas and those non high traffic areas. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. <laughs>